Kijk zo daar hoor. Hier. Dus eigenlijk gewoon op de backside right there. As this bird slips behind this little rise, I know that next time he steps out, he's going to be right in our lap. I'm just hoping that Kevin waits until he gets out from these trees before he takes a shot. Same thing happened. I couldn't see, man. I couldn't see, Randy. I took my glasses off and I kept waiting on him to come a little closer. I just I was gonna follow them Jakes up here. Did you see them? Mm -hmm. well, I seen a hen. I ain't seen Jakes. I, I, could, I couldn't see a thing. This thing's they were. I tried to squint one eye and look through them. And I couldn't see a thing. And I was like, all right, I just got to take him off and hope he comes in close enough. I was planning on being the filmer. That's why I wore my glasses. And like I say... Well, here, here's a tip. For you folks at home, thing. if you wear contacts, wear contacts when you go hunting. Don't fool with your glasses anymore. I've been wearing my contacts 
for too long. They needed a break. And so I thought, I took them out last night, threw them away. I, I, I thought I put, I thought I put the barrel on him pretty good, but I, you, I mean, well, I saw feathers fly him up. Get back down, get back down, get back down. Well, it's hard to believe, but that's the second gobbler came in while Kevin and I were talking. Let's see if we can't call this bird in and give Kevin a little redemption after his first shot. Although this bird had come in close, he had managed to circle below us about 100 yards down the hill. Now it's time to get aggressive and then sit tight and be quiet and let him come find you. Well, he don't want to hear it, but I think we're about to take his gun away from him. I take his glasses away from him, make him wear contacts. You got time? You want to be late? Yeah, I got, we got to go. All right. <laughs> 